Hello and welcome to today's editor. Today we are here once again playing a thing. <laughs> We're not actually playing. We're watching uh, some Overwatch here. We're watching a match that Lamim and I did here uh, back about a week ago on uh, Temple of Anubis. Not sure what it was about this map that I liked, uh, but there's something I wanted to keep it for. That's why I saved it in my system. Uh, not not sure at all uh, why I saved it. So we're gonna jump into it here though and see um, see what exactly I did like about it. Oh god! So let's get some of these icons here so we can sort of see what's popping off uh, with each team a little bit better. Uh, so right now, quick little entry in. Your boy's still in the spawn room for some reason. I'm uh, not sure why. So you see the meme here playing the Winston, sort of trying to go up on the top level here. Good little attempt here you're going to see from him. I believe he's going to start trying to force the rest of the team to fall back. Let's see if that is an accurate statement here. Nobody really getting killed yet. Nobody really fallen. Um, which is interesting. Brigida from our team, followed by Ana, is the first one to go down. You see the meme over here, just waiting it out. I kind of just jump over, sneak around a little bit. I'm trying to sneak over into the side room here. Let's see what I'm trying to do here. Get some health. Lamim has not made his move onto the point yet. So we'll go up here a little bit. You see your boy? He's waiting for me to get ready. So both of us are going to jump on in a second. He's going to go in, distract him back, and then I'm going to go in, jump on the same as that target as him, jump onto that Lucio. It's going to be our qu quick move here. I'm going to go back up top again, try to shoot back down onto that Genji. We're going to see the Genji go back into the room there. We're going to follow him. Um, our Genji ends up taking out their Genji. Uh, I may have said the wrong one. I don't know. It's hard when they're they're red. Used to being the uh, again the blue most of the time. So here we go. Shooting down here. Lamim in here doing some work as well. Big stun comes in. Big Hanzo alt goes to the middle of the point. Not what we're really looking forward to. Uh, That's not a good thing to have. Goes to the middle of the point when you're all hammered down. That Genji going there getting stuck on the trap. Laid by the Junkrat. And we're going to be able to clear this point pretty quickly. That is nice overall. Good take by our team. So... We're going to jump here to point B. Oops. I do apologize if it sounds like I'm the mic a little bit. Uh, that's because it's um, the audio sound is pretty quiet unless I have it turned all the way up and I'm literally speaking right onto it. So it's a little bit harder. Um, a little bit different than what you might expect from a normal mic where you have a little away from you. But, um, when it's away from me, you couldn't hear it. <laughs> that was not that far away from me at all. So, jumping here on the point, Lamim and I, quick push in, quick rush. You're going to get d there by the Hanzo. It's going to be a quick take here. We're going to work on that a little bit. Lamim trying to hit him back. What can you do? Genji's going to be able to jump on just at the last second. Kills me there, but good overall effort by him. To say the least. Mercy comes in. Gets that kill. Or gets the res. Or tries to get the res and gets killed. That's that. So you're going to switch it around here so it looks a little bit more from a normal perspective. This is very weird to try to control. Not going to lie. Try to get a good angle here. Who's coming in where. We almost had that point. Uh, actually, very similar to a match we did on stream uh, just a little bit before recording this, which would have been done uh, stream on Monday, if anybody wants to check that out. Very similar match. Big ult comes in here. Takes up the Lucio and the Hanzo and the Zenyatta. I remember that actually was play of the game uh, in that map. So that there was our point <laughs> taken right there. Pretty easy uh, take there on Temple of Anubis. So we're going to jump here now to the 
attack from the opposing team. Going to speed up the time a little bit here. That way we can start getting to the actual match, because that's really what we're here for, is that actual match. Uh, and not loading and assembling characters, so... They're all over there getting ready to attack. Meanwhile, we are over here ready to defend this. Winston and D.Va, of course, are choices per usual these days. So here we go. Our time to go on the defense. See what we can do here. And instantly our Hanzo is taken out. Not what you want to see early on. Your Hanzo going down. Big, big yikes there. I said Hanzo. I meant McCree. McCree got that res. And then instantly gets killed by a Hanzo. d coming in onto their D.Va. Set off by me. Ultimately their D.Va does get killed by our Junkrat. Lameen gets taken out by Storm Arrows from Hanzo. Trying to shoot in there, trying to help our team a little bit without uh, having two tanks. A little bit harder to defend some of these points. So, definitely a necessary move here. Go in here and defend our team. A uh, little bit lacking here right now. Going to get killed quickly by their D.Va after I get d by the Baptiste. Lameen going to consider jumping in here. Yes, he is. He's going to jump in, throw down a shield, see what he can do here. Some big plays, at least try to get our team to come back if we possibly can, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen here this time. No, we'll not. We're going to have to go here and defend ourselves on point B. Now, this is a map, actually, that we talked about how bad some of the tanks were, how bad their D.Va was. I know they're trying to contest against me, but really didn't do anything that good. So here we go. Big Hanzo alt comes to the middle there. They got an early presence on the point, but... Another two kills there for your boy. And that's instantly going to throw this thing into... A little bit of a retreat from them. Is their Diva, Genji, and Winston also fall? So, a little bit of issues for them coming in now. We really at that early stop. Put them in a position where they um, they're going to go for another push without having anything. That first push on Temple of Anubis is always very, very key, as you don't really get many more opportunities uh, at a really, really nice push like that. Their D.Va all comes in and gets nobody. We all go and avoid that uh, really quick, really easy. Their Winston gets killed. Now, they did switch to D.Va Winston, so to try to compete against us. Which is always nice when you do that well as a tank duo to have somebody uh, from the opposing team say, this is what we're going to do. Pretty bad Hanzo alt came in there. Not sure whose that was, um, but it didn't do anything. So... That's good. Um, so. What's next? What's next? Who's coming in next? 2.30 left here on the clock for them. Our opponents, and they're giving us a... They're giving us, like, no real actual fight. They're kind of bad. They took A very quickly, but... That was kind of it. Ooh. Big Devault. Got two again. I don't get the whole thing with the Overwatch League of people gassing up Poco for averaging two uh, Diva kills. I do that all the time. I mean, I get it's different from the standpoint of being an Overwatch League player or a uh, gold-ranked player. Um, but still, dude, it's two Diva kills. 
per all. I average 2.6. Don't see anybody gassing me up all the time. Let me even go in there with a big, big thing. Now I don't remember. I don't know if they gas them up anymore, but they did back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean like 2018. Their demon's coming in with an alt. Got nobody once again. You gotta know how to place your alts well, and they just... They don't really seem to understand that concept. So... I love being cameraman. It's really cool. <laughs> it's not really something that I'm the best at. If the footage would sort of play itself and I could sort of watch it, but how to control it? Yikes. Big tire came in from our junk right there. That's great to see. Let him go another there killing the D before she can remake. That's great. That's what you need to have right there. Definitely get the D before she remakes. Always a good good play for sure. And as a diva player, you gotta sort of uh, make sure that you can go and remack before they can kill you as you deem or as you get back into your mech. So it's definitely a balancing act there, of you know making sure you can do that properly because if you can't, that's just that becomes problematic for sure. So um, here we go once again, another attack for them. They really only have one or two more pushes that they can really make in here. Hanzo goes to the middle there. That must be from their team as it D-Max me. Zara went for that all. Didn't really get anything off with it. Only 20 seconds remaining. 20 seconds on the clock here as we head into the, end of the match. Lucio here coming up with a big all. It's going to be it. They need to capitalize here. Diva all comes in once again from them. Got a mercy that time. McCree comes in with a big, big attempt there but got nothing out of it. Genji comes in with an ult there. And he gets taken out immediately. Devol for me comes in. I do get the Baptiste there from their team. So trading one healer for one healer with the Diva ult. Res comes in from our mercy onto the McCree. Down goes the Lucio. Down goes the Zara. That is the match. We win that round on Temple of Anubis. That was a good match. I kind of forgot about that uh, for a little bit there until... I sort of remembered like fighting that fight a little bit. Uh, but overall, that was a good good match there on Temple of Anubis. But if you want to see a really, really intense map and one that goes a little bit longer than 13 minutes, uh, make sure you come check out our map analysis for Route 66 uh, when that comes out after this one. Not sure the schedule of that if it'll be right after like an hour later or uh, a day later but either way Route 66 match analysis make sure you check that out when that comes out uh, very very soon on the channel because that was an absolutely insane match so thank you all for watching hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next one